Hey guys, welcome back to the MBTX Living Channel. My name is Chase Bradley. I'm Veronica Bradley. And today we're going to talk about Seguin and everything it has to offer. Seguin is a delightful Texas town located in Guadalupe County. Seguin is situated 25 minutes from New Braunfels, 35 minutes from San Antonio, and about an hour away from Austin with easy access to those cities through Highway 123, Highway 46, and IH-10. It has a population of around 30,000 people and is well known for its rich history, beautiful architecture, and natural beauty. Seguin was originally called Walnut Springs when it was founded in 1838, but it soon had its name changed to honor Juan Seguin, who fought against Santa Ana during the Battle of San Jacinto. You're never far away from a historical landmark when you're in Seguin. One of the most famous landmarks is the Sebastopol House State Historic Site. This stunning Greek Revival mansion was built in 1856 and is a popular destination for tourists and history enthusiasts. It has been beautifully restored and offers different tours, events, and educational programs. The Magnolia House was built in 1840 as a two-room log cabin, but it's now considered to be the most haunted hotel in Texas, even being featured on many TV shows and numerous magazines and newspapers. Yes, you can book a room and explore this haunted piece of Seguin's history, if you dare. But you can't forget about the downtown historic district and all that it has to offer from dining, shopping, or just enjoying the culture and history of the area. Seguin offers a variety of popular destinations for locals and visitors alike. The Guadalupe River is a great choice for people that enjoy fishing, swimming, kayaking, and other water activities. The Max Starkey Park is a beautiful park that offers hiking trails, picnic areas, a kid's play place, and also a golf course. And the ZDT Amusement Park is a fun place to go and enjoy rides, games, and other attractions. There are a ton of great food options in and around the historic district. Some of our favorites are places like Ebby Ebby Sushi House, Atan, which is a great Asian place, and Burnt Bee Barbecue. Yeah, that's right guys. If you want to eat the Burnt Bee Barbecues, I recommend getting there extra early and waiting in line. Normally I wouldn't say wait in line, but if you do not get in line, you don't you're eat. probably not going to eat. That's right. Seguin is also home to a number of excellent schools. They have the Seguin ISD and the Navarro ISD, which is one of the highest rated school districts in Guadalupe County. Seguin is also home to the Texas Lutheran University, home of the TLU Bulldogs. All right, Chase, we've talked about attractions, food. Now let's get into the cost of housing in Seguin. Yeah, when it comes to cost of housing, Seguin is a super affordable option, especially for this area. When you talk about the cost of living, Seguin beats the national average and most of the surrounding cities and a lot of the other cities throughout the state in terms of affordability, which makes it a very attractive option for retirees and families alike. The median home price is right under $300,000, which is much lower than the national average and even the average of New Braunfels, Austin, and San Antonio. A quick look into the MLS finds there are quite a few homes for less than $250,000. And they aren't all in older or more established neighborhoods. Some of them are in brand new, new build communities. So when people think of Seguin, they think of like older homes. And while Seguin does have historic homes, they do have condos, apartments, and modern living moving on up in that town. There are also a number of new housing subdivisions to keep up with this growing population. Y'all, Seguin is positioned to be the next up and coming boom town in this area. With so much coming to this area, we have new housing development, retail, and that's literally in the next few years. So if you wanna get in on Seguin, you should do it now. So yeah, so you might be thinking, man, Seguin has all, everything going for it. It has the food, it has the schools, it has the houses, great cost of living. But what about jobs? What can I expect in terms of employment in Seguin? Well, specifically, Seguin has a very heavy manufacturing industry and also the service industry. And y'all, if you're a local business owner, 
Seguin is very much like New Braunfels in terms of supporting local businesses. So if you have a business, bring it on over to Seguin because like I said before, it's booming in retail. Yes, there's a lot of manufacturing jobs, but retail's booming out there and we just love supporting local. Overall, Seguin, Texas is a wonderful place to live, work, and visit. With its rich history, natural beauty, and affordable cost of living, it's no wonder why so many people are proud to call Seguin their home. And if you feel like we missed anything, definitely make sure you let us know in the comments down below. And if you really like this video, you want to see more of them, make sure you like and you subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. And if Seguin or just this general area just really seems like a place that just sounds like home to you. Yeah, guys, you guys need to reach out to us, call us, text us, or email us. We answer our phones all the time. And we're going to guarantee that you're going to live your best life here in Seguin, New Braunfels, San Antonio, because we have y'all's back. That's right, guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye.